And in the Democrats' defense, anytime one of them tried to make a nuanced argument, the moderators stepped in to tell them that they were out of time. Those who are insufficiently insured are enrolled in Medicare. Just to 15 seconds. And those who, who have employer who is offering sponsored a, who's insurance. Offering a false, Jake, this is important. Here. The healthcare industry will be advertising tonight on this program. Thank you, Senator. They they want to thank you, Senator. That's if we could all said. just stick to the they rules think. of the time, that would be great. Yeah! You tell them, Jake, stick to the rules of the time. CNN doesn't have time for these candidates and all these people debating on how they're gonna lower the price of prescription drugs. We gotta make an ad for prescription drugs. It's coming up next. <laughs> Come on. Voters are watching the debate like, I don't know who I'm voting for, but I'm gonna ask my doctor about Lipitor. I gotta talk to him. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this is like one of the major things of the night for me, all right? According to CNN's rules, candidates would get as little as 15 seconds to respond to a policy question, which is great for snappy TV, but it's horrible for policy debates. You know, and it's also a good thing that CNN doesn't run a restaurant. That would be horrible. Just be like looking up at the waiter who's Jake Tappy, be like, I'll order the pasta, but I, I'm allergic to... Time's up, thank you very much. That's what I'm gonna... <laughs> no, but I'll die if I ate... I said thank you! <laughs> oh, and uh, CNN didn't have time to let people elaborate on their response, but they had time to start some beefs. You support Medicare for all. Congressman Delaney just referred to it as bad policy, and previously he has called the idea political suicide that will just get President Trump reelected. What do you say to Congressman Delaney? In the last debate, she said, the politicians who are not supporting Medicare for all simply lack the will to fight for it. You do not support Medicare for all. Is Senator Warren correct? Do you just not lack the will to fight? Who on the stage is making promises just to get elected? Wow, CNN, you catty bitch. <laughs> Half of those questions might as well have been pick three people on the stage, F, marry, kill, go, go. <laughs> Like, I felt like at any moment they were about to go like, oh, by the way, Elizabeth, did you notice that Klobuchar totally stole your look? Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> and, and, and look, don't get me... I'm not saying CNN wanted fights just to gin up the ratings. I'm just saying it was a little suspicious when they even lowered that cage over the stage. <laughs> Andrew Yang? He's getting ignored for some weird reason. Andrew Yang uh, was the person that spoke the least uh, during last night's debate. He didn't even get a question for the first 30 minutes of the debate, and then he ended up speaking just six minutes and 53 seconds overall. Wow. In a two-hour debate... Andrew Yang only got to speak for six minutes and 53 seconds. That's nothing. Like, there are rappers who speak more before their song even starts. <laughs> yeah, just like, uh-huh, uh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, uh. Turn the bass up, turn the bass up, turn the headphones down, uh-huh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, turn it back up again, uh-huh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't you figure this shit out before you started recording? <laughs> Why is this on the song? Uh-huh, uh, can you get a sweater from the car? It's a little cold in here, uh-huh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not saying Andrew Yang should get the same amount of coverage as the frontrunners, but you have to admit, it's a little strange that he gets less attention than other candidates who poll lower than he does. I mean, for instance, Michael Bloomberg hasn't even entered the race, and he's getting more media coverage than Andrew Yang. Yeah, I even turned onto cable news one day, and, uh, Bloomberg's name was on the screen literally the entire time. What the hell? <laughs> and you may be wondering how they decided which candidates would debate on which night. Well, it was all up to CNN, which means the process was about as ridiculous as possible. Breaking this pile into thirds, putting this in the debate night box here, where I will give it a stir, and we will get going to see when these candidates will be debating. First out of 10 names here is Bill de Blasio, mayor of New York. He ran, he was the campaign manager for Hillary Clinton's successful bid for the Senate in 2000. He'll take the stage on the second night, Wednesday, July 31st. Okay, what? What is going on? <laughs> I feel like I'm watching bloopers from the courtroom scene in Chernobyl. That's what this feels like. <laughs> it's like and when we mix uh, Bill de Blasio with Marion Williamson, it creates a chain reaction which could destroy an entire city. <laughs> like, I don't know why CNN couldn't just tell us which candidates would go on which nights. Like, if they were gonna do this dramatic process, they should have had more fun with it, you know? Like, if I was in charge, Right? I would have... I would have done it. I've also got a box. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I would have just been like, okay, well, let's see over here. We've got, uh, Bernie Sanders is gonna be, uh, debating, uh, without pants. There you go! <laughs> there you go! That's what the debate's gonna be! Have more fun! 